Hello and welcome to a gloomy London. It's raining, but it's live from Studio 5. Um, what I'd like to do is very, very quickly just take you through progress with Tintin so far. Anyway, so we're going for a little bit of artwork that I've been playing around with. Yeah, I don't know what I'd call that. But anyway, um, Tintin. As you can see, the text block has been constructed or the edges have been coloured. And we're now beginning to see the form and the shape of Tintin. Now, for those of us who don't know who or what Tintin is, well, Tintin is a character, a sort of a pre-punk, punk-haired, teenage sort of super detective. Um, sort of created, I believe, in nine, uh, the late 1920s, 1929, perhaps, by a Belgian artist called... Hergé, that of course is not his real name, but that was his, what his name he went by. Um, it uh, went through a number of different guises, um, but finally in 1946, Tintin had his own um, sort of um, complete sort of magazine. And in total, there were 23 complete stories, um, plus one story that was incomplete at the time of Hergé's death in 1983. Tintin became uh, very, very popular, not only in Belgium, but all over the world, um, nearly all over the world. And um, it sort of, I suppose it became the equivalent of the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, uh, Mickey Mouse, that's right. Uh, it's popular in every uh, sort of country, apart from the USA, apparently. So there you go. So that's Tintin. Uh, the little dog is called uh, Milu or Snowy. And what I've done is I've picked the main um, eight characters that feature in the stories. And they've actually come into the text block in where they came in um, with regards to uh, the actual stories themselves. The um, A lot of the characters were actually uh, based on uh, real life people. Uh, for example, Dupont and Dupont, uh, or Thompson Twins, I suppose, were actually based on real people, real coppers of the time in Belgium and um, that sort of thing. Very, very interesting. And for those of us who know Captain Haddock and who doesn't, um, there was actually an Admiral Haddock in the Royal Navy. Um, not a lot of people know that. I've done my research. Trust me. Anyway, um, it's a total of four spreads. Um, all the edges have been coloured. I don't know if you can pick that up, but all the edges have been individually coloured. Uh, then a uh, series of lamination processes have happened to get the text block to where we see it. We're looking at the fourth, the final spread, which is in fact also the end paper, uh, the back end paper. So it's a relatively slim book, but full of colour, full of movement, full of life. And it really has been great being able to revisit one of my childhood heroes. Um, really very, very cool. Anyway, it's just the binding to do now. <laughs> I say just the binding. Um, but anyway, we can begin to see the narrative that's been created with the spreads. And we're looking at the first spread or the first end paper, if you like. And, um, well, I'll keep you up to date with what's happening. I wish everybody a really, really happy sort of season. Um, no matter who or what or where you are, my thoughts are with you. And please, let's be safe out there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my bibliotic friends and chums, it's been a difficult year. Let's hope 2021's a bit better. Anyway, this is Studio 5, and I was live. Thank you very much.